Live from Case at 12, the night beat starts right now. NBA All-Star Kobe Bryant among nine people who died in a helicopter crash in California this morning. Several outlets have reported Kobe's daughter Gianna was also a victim of the crash, but the L.A. County Sheriff's Office would not confirm the victim's identities. The L.A. Fire Department also reporting a stubborn brush fire broke out as a result of the crash. Debris from that crash, steep terrain and magnesium reportedly made it difficult for firefighters to extinguish the flames. The investigation is still ongoing tonight. Meantime, Kobe's death shocking people in the pro basketball world and so far beyond. Tonight from the Staples Center in Los Angeles to Madison Square Garden in New York City, buildings lit up in purple and yellow as fans mourn the icon's death. The night team Stephen Cavazos with reaction from basketball fans right here at home. It's, it's, it's surreal. I can't even believe Kobe's do He's dead at 41, especially for his Bryant remembered by his fans today after he and eight others were killed in a helicopter crash early this morning. Growing up watching Kobe, I, I love Kobe, so, you know, it's very sad. His 13th the crash, their deaths sending shockwaves across the country. And here at home, fans are lining up outside the AT&T Center for their Spurs game against the Toronto Raptors. But it's clear this NBA legend was on everyone's mind. So it's just like crazy that... This happened to a basketball player as we're heading to a basketball game. Basketball coach Rachel Huggins was with her students when they learned the sports icon was killed. Huggins says he left a mark on the basketball court. He's one of the best. He might be the best ever. Longtime Spurs fan Ian Gonzalez agrees. It's what he played, everything about him. I love Kobe Bryant. Gonzalez says despite the Spurs rivalry with the former L.A. Laker, Bryant was one of the most respected players in the game. It's, it's tragic, man. I mean, he changed the game of basketball as we know it. Now, coming up tonight on Instant Replay, we hear more from fans inside the AT&T Center, including reactions from both inside the Spurs and Raptors locker rooms and our exclusive with David Robinson. That coming up tonight on Instant Replay. Reporting live outside the AT&T Center, Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News. Myra.